Hello and I welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about uh, the Flask in Python and how you can uh, print out the console. So if you need to debug something, you can do that. Normally you want to use the print, uh, but I will show another way how you can use the internal Flask debugging mode. So first let's uh, testing the, the normal print. So let's call it a hello world and we call it normal. Let's run the application here. Um, and then we want to go to the browser. So let's change into the browser. And then reload, you need to have in a local host port 5000. And then reload. We're going back for the part it's again. And you can see we have printing out the hello world in the normal way. I have uh, the problem when I change to use the Docker, then the normal print doesn't work. But I figure out if you use the system uh, way, you can do it. So if you use system, uh, import system, and going down here and copy this line and call it sys st d one here, and then we define which file we want to print to and then we print it out again let's uh, kill the server start that again go to the browser and reload and going back for the editor one more time now you can see both of the hello world is here but what i want to find uh, figure out here for you in this uh, in this video is how you can do it the the flask way and for this it's pretty simple you import logging. It's the normal way when you need to, to log for the file. And then we define here uh, a logging uh, configuration, the basic configuration here, and we want to define which level we want to log and print out. And we say debug. Debug meaning everything. If you do only want warning and error, you can just change it here but we want the debug. Then we're going down here and say app, because this is the Flask application. And then we say logger. And then we want to say the info. It could be everything. But for now, we say hello world. And we say app logger info. And let's restart the application one more time. And we're going here for the browser and reload one more time. And then we're going back for the application. And now you can see we have the info and the app. It's the, it's the file name. And then the hello world app logger. That's how it's working. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you want to subscribe my channel and get more awesome videos from me. I hope you... Uh, Make a comment if you have any questions and the code can be found on my GitHub. Uh, you can find the links down in the description, of course. And I hope you want to like this video and share it with your friends and put it to your playlist so you always can find it. Thank you for subscribing. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.